and truly his mercy endures until the end. The song says, what shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. And because he's done so much and because he loves us, you know what? He gives us a word. He encourages us through by his word. And so that's what I want to do today. Found in the Psalms, the 84th division and the 11th verse. The Bible says, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this opportunity to minister your word unto your people. Father, we praise you and we magnify you today for you are good to us, Lord God. Your grace and your mercy has truly followed us, Father God. You have truly overtaken us, Lord. And so for that, I give you praise, Father. For that, I honor you and I say there is no God like Jehovah. Who is like you, my Lord? There is none. So I give you glory, I give you honor, and I give you praise. Father, as I minister your word, I pray that it go forth in clarity. I ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you would lead me by your spirit so that your people would be edified, my Lord, and you would be glorified. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, God, let it be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, I pray and I ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. How many of you know that the Lord is good? He is good all the time. And God has been so gracious to us. Us Gentiles, he has loved. Hallelujah. He has grafted us in through by his only begotten son, Jesus, who paid the price for our sins. Jesus has made a way for us to have this dynamic relationship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, uh, with the eternal God, uh, the one that speaks said it is. The one who existed before time. The one that commands. The one that instructs. The one that says a cattle on a thousand hills belongs to him. The one that declares the earth is his. The one that, hallelujah, cannot be defeated. That is our father. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God even of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who has done great great things for us. Hallelujah. He declares in this text, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. Now what is a sun? The sun gives life. Look at the trees, look at the plants and everything that depends on the sun. You know what scientists have said? They have said that humans even need the sun to make, you know what, vitamin D which promotes bone growth. Therefore, humans could not grow properly without the use of the sun. Now let's look at this text spiritually when it comes to the sun. Just think it about think about it. Who is the life giver? God? Who is the one that causes men and women to grow? Our God. He says that not only is he the son, he's the life giver. He's the one that causes us to grow. But then he declared that he is a shield. Now, if you look up this word in the Hebrew, this word means just what it says, a shield and a buckler. Now, in the natural, what is a shield? It is something that blocks the blows of an opponent. If you look up buckler in the natural, what does it mean? The buckler was more widely used than any commonly known. It says that it's it's like a metal fist. A buckler could be used to direct attacks on the opponent by punching it, 
either with its flat face or its rim. And then also the buckler could be used to bind an opponent's sword, you know, with the hand and weapon, as well as their bucklers against the body. So what does this say about our God? Let's look at it spiritually. He is our shield. He is the one that blocks the opponent. He is the one, and you know, let's take it a little further. He is the one that has blocked the opponent because the devil is defeated. He is our buckler. Hallelujah. He blocks the blow. Hiya. He blocks the blows of the enemy and he binds up. What does the Bible say? Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose. Now if things are not being stopped in your life maybe you need to talk to God about it. Maybe you need to do it says in the Bible you know how can a, a strong man's house be plundered unless you bind them first. We have to bind up those things. Hallelujah. And God, the heavens hear us. When we begin to bind the devil in the name of Jesus, when we begin to bind the works of the devil in the name of Jesus, when we begin to bind the strategies of the devil, what happens? They are bound. He said, whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Go ahead and use what God has given you so that you might be successful. And he's telling us right here, he is the one ultimately. He hears us down here on earth and he does hallelujah what the word says that he will do don't let the enemy just run rush out over everything bind them in your finances bind them in your children bind them in your marriage bind them in your church bind them in your business don't let him have any leeway in your life because God has already given us the authority hallelujah with his backing to stop the enemy right in his tracks and the, the scripture switches it says for the Lord God is a son and she our protector hallelujah our keeper what does it say next in the text the Lord will give grace and glory once he calls his growth and he keeps us, hallelujah, then the text again lets us know that he's going to give a little bit of grace with it. That lets us know that he begins to adorn us with his favor and acceptance. That's what the word grace in this text means, favor and acceptance. Now, once we receive his favor and his acceptance, then the glory shows up. Hallelujah. The abundance, that's what the glory is. The riches, the honor, the dignity, the reputation, and the respect. Why? Because God gives it. No man can give you. It's God that gives it. Hallelujah. And when God promotes, it's nothing that man can do to stop it. He is our son. He is our shield. He gives grace. He gives glory. And then he puts the icing on it. He says, no good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright." All because you walk uprightly before him. That means with everything that you have, we are his. We do everything that we do and everything that we are. Hallelujah. We give that and we walk uprightly. We give our will over to him. We do those things that bring him glory. We completely belong to him. Come on and praise him for all that he has done for us. Truly the Lord is good and truly his mercy endures forever. Bless him for all that he has given unto us. Bless him because, hallelujah, he loves us in spite of. Bless him because he gave his only begotten son. Bless him because we can now have this wonderful relationship with him. Do you love him today? Know today that God loves you, hallelujah, and he has his eyes on you. He's watching to see what it is that you will do so that he might be able to bless you. That's what he wants to do. He's not watching you to harm you, but he's watching you to see what he can do to bless you 
his children. He wants to shower you. He wants to pour out his love, his blessings upon you. Just walk up brightly in his sight. And then you know what? Take it a step further. As you're walking up brightly before him, as you're honoring him and respecting him, I want you to do one other thing. Hallelujah in this journey. I want you to keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Someone, the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.